Well, the other ones are kind of this size, can't really buy the window. Do you want to go up to one of the ones at the top? I used to be a mechanic, went to college and studied for that, and then uh, preferred this one. <laughs> Let's grease. There we are. It was a very random job for me to start. I ended up out of work. Came here as really a stopgap. I've been here for two and a half years now, so random start to a job, but I do enjoy it. It is a good job. It does get stressful at times. There are days when you just get busy and seem like the entire world has walked in on you. <laughs> do you know where the refill machine is? Yeah. You get to meet some good people. I like interacting with people. It is quite a fun job, very interesting. We're with you in just a second, okay. People always think it's the, you know, the best job in the world because it's like having a night out or a, an evening out and you're getting paid for it. But actually, far from it. You have to really love the job in, in order to be able to, you know, to do it successfully. But you know, if you've got the passion for it, then it can also be uh, an easy job at the same time. Two don't, don't often go hand in hand. It's not nine to five. It's not a desk job. It's not a job where you just get to tell people what to do. You've got to be able to lead by example. A typical day would be about a 10 o'clock start, come in, start all your session, get your actual front bar running, everything running there, all your tills and everything. We then do what's called PPS, our people productivity system to make sure they get paid. And then by that time, it's near enough opening time and we uh, roll on from there. You jump in and out, you get your hands dirty and that's the way you have to be in this kind of job. You've got to be visible to the guests and communicate with them and make it more enjoyable for them. Um, it's just, just helping out, obviously during Quiet times, not as many staff on, so it's just having to help out, general tidy up. All the glass is ready for this evening, it'll make the evening shift run a lot smoother, making sure that everywhere's ready and prepped for tonight. Yep, everywhere's set up for tonight's shift, so should be in for a successful evening. You have to be very hands-on, you have to be prepared to not be the manager that watches while everybody else does the work. I worked in an office once and I lasted about three months because you get really bored. The very people focus. They're always trying to progress people internally because they know better than anyone else how it is to work on the floor. Rachel here is actually on like the first stage of the management training progress. I'm on the second or third stage, but there's lots of different people all in the business that's going on different days out for training. And the person above kind of trains the next person up. But it's a good way of progressing at the company, and they're very focused on it. Hello, lemonade. As long as you're self-motivated, you know, you've got good personality, you can easily progress throughout the company, you know, they've got all their own training programmes to get, get you where you need to want to be. And as long as you do it, you're well away. Hello. Hello. Three? Yeah, do you want to come through?